Well, happy Thanksgiving. I'm calling you from the place that my twin and I and Tracy hid out in when it was just total chaos upstairs with the antique mall and tours and everything. And mostly it was Chris and Tracy that kept the furnaces running. Um, anyway, it's just nice to sit here and just to reminisce about some of the things that we're thankful for. Um, there was a phone that we had up here on the wall, and that was the phone that we called our parents on. Back here where Brutus lives. Let's turn some lights up. Okay, here we go. Here is the original big Brutus that we call Brutus. And um, anyway, that is the big one from 116 years ago that Charles Batcher put in. He was an architect and had built over 200 homes in Staples. So to say that this building is overbuilt is an understatement. But right past Brutus is the big one that we took care of and mostly Chris and Tracy. So here I sit and I think about all the new plumbing, all the new furnaces and the new roof, the windows sealed up, uh, Frosty's bar up and running, licenses paid for, insurance paid for. And I want to give thanks to my parents, but I also want to give thanks to you for your support, for coming out and seeing us, and uh, to my son, who has inspired me even more than I dreamt, as he has now officially drank the Kool-Aid of the Batcher Block Opera House. He is absolutely locked in to this dream and I couldn't be prouder of him and my twin brother comes down and plays and lights up this town uh, with his music and I haven't heard Chris play for over 20 years I was busy um, so I think that to me has been the highlight is to have my twin there playing three nights a week for you um, and today's Thanksgiving, and I decided to be open. Uh, my son's going to run to my sister's and get dinner and have dinner and be with family. But I think now I want to just enjoy where I'm at today and to be forever grateful to all of you and to my parents. I'm thankful. Uh, we're going to continue to go and grow forward. My other furnaces will hopefully be hooked up soon. But I got to remember how far we've come. This has been uh, no easy task, but I got to say I'm having the time of my life. And so is my son. Thanks to all our Frosties members who jumped on board. If you want to know how to support us, becoming a Frosties member, it's a yearly uh, fee of $300, but you get benefits for you and a guest. So bring your traveler that comes to town and treat them to drink specials and happy hour Thursday with half price drinks. Um, I mean, where else can you get a $2 beer, beer right? Or a Windsor for $3.50 or $3, I guess it is. Anyway, so Frosty's memberships are probably the foundation or at least the furnaces, the heat bill. So I appreciate all the Frosty's members so far, but come on out and support the bar um, the brick pavers walking with me on this journey to becoming a preservationist. If you're out there and are from my past, my present, or want to be part of my future, um, here at the Badger Block Opera House, which is your national historic treasure, um, go ahead and look at how to purchase a brick and ding the bell and come walk with us. This is, uh, this is a 10 year plan to get the park all placed with the people who want to be in it and uh, there are so many things happening but jump on in and uh, i'll keep the lights on and we will keep the heat on and my promise to you is to never close again and to keep this building progressing forward so that we can all have a place to enjoy on the main street of staples did you know that a hundred years ago at any given time there was over 10,000 people on the streets of Staples needing to be entertained and trained and uh, taught the ways of the Midwest. 
So it's not no accident that you are having fun here because it's in our DNA. Just briefly, 116 years ago, Staples was the most dangerous city, number 13th in the nation for danger. So don't be surprised when you stop in town that you don't stumble upon a little danger, like hanging out in their Batcher Block Opera House basement. It's filled with asbestos. I've removed one fourth of the as asbestos so far, but it's going to take time to get the rest out. And as long as you're not snorting it, you should be fine. But just remember, you have to die of something. But why not enjoy every day that we're here and become a preservationist with us? Thank you and happy Thanksgiving. And I will find another place where you and I can walk together in the Batcher Block Opera House. Bye. Or no, let's, let's end up by walking out this way. I will show you furnace, furnace number two. That was a little dust of asbestos. Okay, moving along. This is how big the furnace was way back then. And over here, now watch, I have to be careful and duck my head. Over here is where Chris and Tracy slept. And this is the big dials that they had to keep going with mini Brutus. So that's the small one right here. And it's not too small. But I got to say, if you want to see my awesome new furnaces, you're going to have to wait a little bit because Mr. Reese has to plug them in or do some duct work. I've got, I have three of them up and running. We have, I believe, two more. Two, three, or three more. I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for being a part of this journey. And I'll, I'll walk with you later. Okay. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving.